The man was tall, freakishly so. He used his great height to his advantage, wearing a magical mask and an ancient rifle that made him look almost like a giant. He would walk through the town and people would be filled with fear. He was a domineer, a tyrant. No one could stand up to him. Till one day, flying high above him, was a wise golden bird. The bird descended to land atop a nearby tree, and the man was filled with instant curiosity. He had never seen a bird quite like it before with such beautiful golden plumage. The bird spoke to him in a low voice saying, you can use your height and your rifle to scare people, but will not make you a better person. The man was taken aback and was quite humbled. He had never thought of his size and his power in such a way. He thanked the bird for its sagely advice and it flew away. From that day on, the man never used his height nor his rifle to domineer over others. The man instead started to use his size and his power in more positive ways. He would help the people in the town with heavy lifting and other chores. And he soon became a beloved figure in the community and the people began to see him in a different light. The man was content with his newfound purpose, and he thought of the wise golden bird often. One day he looked up to the sky, and he saw the bird flying above him. He waved to it, and it flew down to him. What can I do to thank you for your wisdom, old friend, he said to the bird. And the bird replied, you can use your height and power to protect those who are weaker than you, and to help those who need it. The man smiled and nodded. And from that day forward, he uh, lived his life by the wise bird's words. He became a protector of the weak and a helper to those in need. And his name was known far and wide for his kindly paternal deeds. Years later, the man was old and weary. He had used his height and strength to do good, but his body was failing him. He had one last request before he passed away, to see the wise golden bird one last time. The bird heard his request and soon flew down to his cabin in the woods. As the man looked upon the bird, he was filled with joy and peace. He thanked the bird for its wisdom and for its many years of kind guidance. But just as the man finished his words, a hunter's arrow per- pierced the wise golden bird's chest. All the man could do was watch in horror as the bird fell from its perch on a tree and died. The man was grief stricken. He lost he had lost his closest companion and mentor. He had used his height and strength to do good, but he would never be able to use it to protect the one he loved the most. The man's grief was so deep that he closed his eyes and he died soon after that. But his memory lives on in the hearts of the people of the town, who still tell t- stories to this day of the tall man and the wise golden bird who changed his life forever.